crikey, nutcrackers. <laughs> you aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a dang flagpole. Just jump down, it's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. You can't stay on here. You can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. I swear, if this place... Eva, what the beep? <laughs> Wuss. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, River. This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but I'm sure we'd be able to see her from the window. In the morning at night, we'd always be nearby. And, and we could walk here anytime. She'll never be alone again, John. Wait, hold on, she? I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. She, her. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. The important thing is that over here, they are happy. Let's move on. Is there anything here for me to pick up? No. Not that I can see at least. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? What? What? I suppose so. Then that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but ugh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. So Anya's... I kind of felt like Anya was the lighthouse, but... I wasn't sure. Whoa. That was weird. Keep moving, keep moving. Alright, now we're just gonna find our... Memento. Let's prepare this sucker. Five. Alright. Let's see, so... Um... Reset this whole row. I'm not sure on this one. This one's kind of thrown me for a loop. I feel like I just messed everything up. Yeah, completely and utterly messed everything up. Um, and it just got worse. It just got way worse. Wow, okay, so four over. That's great. Let's get rolling. River? Yeah. 
Hey, look, there's a piano. Old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of a cake, piece of cake for the TARDIS. Not really, you can't even get it through its door. Hmm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain for, in the butt for everybody. Probably take an entire episode to get inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. Sounds pretty epic. Wow, really? <laughs> Doctor Who. New boxes of plain paper. Uh-oh. I think I know where this is going. Uh-oh. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits? Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Oh, uh, it was yellow? What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River. What the crap is going on? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition. This is rather odd even for that. You think she's... Do you? Come on! Perhaps. Who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. Many long strands of orange hair. Wait, she didn't go out for a haircut. She cut her own hair. Okay. So this is the day she started it, huh? Platypus the portal. Yep. Boom. Let's roll. All right. Dang platypus. Where are we at now? So we're almost done here. I'm assuming this is like his just probably about mid age. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? Acrophobia. Let's get moving. Is that why you approached me back then? 
Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. What? What? What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! Backpack. I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. Why does she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. Looks like we're out of here. <sighs> There's given me so many questions, and they're like, they've only answered a couple things. Like, what do they think that River has? So do this four. Yeah, I can do that. But, uh, like, what do they think River has? Like, what kind of condition? Or what's, what's weird for her condition? And then... Like, what did he do to taint their first meeting? I'm just... I have so many questions. Everyone with it is different, Joan. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to f have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not possible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me? I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore, and then I realize that's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Wow. Deep. Huh? Never met a woman with it before. Then technically you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business. Let's move. The world would be a lot more beautiful if people just remembered faces more. Can 
Can I talk to anybody else? Like, is there anybody else for me to talk to? Anything new today? No. What are you reading there? Rereading there. The Emperor's New Clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorphs series. <laughs> I know, your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. Heh, <laughs> yeah. That was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm gonna get this one. I'm not yours. You're not mine. Be my anti-Valentine. Hey, River, this one's not that corny. River? <laughs> Be my anti-Valentine. And he's all the way up there. We're going to talk to this one first. But what about David's? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs? Have you read it? No? Yes? Really? Sort of. Oh, oh. Do you know what Animal David's main morph is? Um. Holy crap, I actually have to type it in? Oh, God. Um. I read like two of those books as a kid. Um. Snake? It's probably not right. That doesn't sound right. Don't worry. I'll find it out for you. I feel like there's supposed to be a way for me to find out. Wait a minute. Can I talk to him? No. Can I talk to you? Tobias Hawk, Rachel, Grizzly, Jake, Tiger, Marco, Gorilla, David, Cobra. Cobra! So I was kind of right. Cassie Wolf. Why? Oh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. Cobra. 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 Come on. Do you know what Animal David's made morph? It's... Cobra. Oh yeah, a Cobra. I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those were cool. Yeah, where was the person that would turn into the animal? Tobias Hawk, yeah, okay. So I've got all these. What's the memento? The book, the book. It's the book, isn't it? It's the... Stop, stop. Moving too much. There we go. Prepare. Alright. So. Crap. Five? I can do it in five? What's this? Well, it looks like I looked out again. Alright. No Animorphs. Moving on. Where are we at now? Ah, oh, sweet. Young adult, it looks like. Oh, well, everyone's leaving already, but I just got here. Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go save your childish jabs for the insecure. <laughs> it's 
great. I don't see him over here. Wait, is this... Hold on. I bet they're up by the lighthouse. Yep, there they are. Requires two bars of memory. The heck? Really? Alright, let's keep moving. I guess I gotta just walk around until I find another bar. click on. There's nothing to do over here. Wait, wait, wait. Aha. Glass bottle of pickled olives. I see La Fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? I like this guy. Wow. Sweet. Everything I need. An aged Animorphs book. Let's get rolling. Doctor. Doctor Love. Can we go in here now, please? Sweet. Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean? No. Why? Do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just... different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Yeah, Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. This can't be a good idea probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Ow, my butt. I think he stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. Dance to the wee hours of the morning. To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. I do. And 
do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband, to promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? Yes. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. the wedding uh yeah what did you think this was I'm just bad at weddings that's all flutes tend to escape from my eyes I didn't know you were that sentimental oh did I say my eyes I meant my mouth and by fluids I meant both fluids and solids that's a lovely image thanks Neil come let's find a way to get out of here all this happiness and joy is really putting you off too huh no I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Sheesh, whatever happened to just take it by moment by moment. Wow, she did kind of like get extremely serious all of a sudden. People make mistakes. There they are over there. The lovely couple. Oh, I'd better go see how your hand is doing. Alright, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me... Ma calls me by it as a nickname. How come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. Ach, not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyway? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Nope, Joey. I'm so proud of Joey. left here this is good what's that is that a dead rabbit in the road it can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? Think this is the source of all those folded paper ones? Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me, you are the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. Wow. Dead rabbit. Nice. Alright. Let's prepare this memento. Oh that's that's nice. That's that's lovely. One, two, three. And let's get out of here. Oops, sorry. You know it's a fantastic wedding when the mementos roadkill. Hey, maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil.